whenever you see scatter charts in this industry, it's generally performance over risk. Um, and the same is true in analytics. If you go and create a scatter chart on this system, by default, it will show you the performance on the left and the volatility at the bottom. And those of you that have seen scatter charts before, you're generally looking at that top left hand quadrant where you're taking a solid level of growth for a low level of volatility. And on the right hand side, it's over here, charts, scatter chart, pick some options, click on generate. And whatever data you select on the left hand side, there's actually very little restriction on the scatter chart. You can chart as many things as you like. However, a little known feature in analytics is you can actually dictate the axis. You could theoretically compare anything against anything. It doesn't always have to be performance versus risk. You do that by creating a table first. So whether you're creating a table template or using a table template that we've created for you or under the reports tab, you can basically create your own table. So you could theoretically have any field of data on our database in that table. So an example here, I've taken the entire UK or company sector, cracked it open, thrown it into my fund research table and I'll get this, a very large table, 263 rows of data, and all of these fields that I want the system to show me at the very top, performance, risk, charges, um, ratings, etc. Now, if you scroll right the way down to the bottom of this table, you've got scatter chart options, and if you click on the little plus icon, it now allows you to create a scatter chart using whatever field of data is in the table you're looking at. So these are all of the fields on one of the axis, and I can now change the other field to something else. So there's almost infinite options because we've got hundreds upon hundreds of fields in our database. You could theoretically create any table with any one of those fields and then transfer it directly into a scatter chart. Now, some options you might want to consider. I've created a couple in the background. So I've got performance versus performance, which I thought was quite a nice twist. So on the left hand side, you've got five year performance at the bottom. You've got one year performance. And the, the name of the game here is to be the the top right quadrant because you want to try and get the best amount of performance high up but also you want to be far to the right as well um, so it's these funds here if I click if I hover over any one of these dots it will show me what fund it is at the bottom but I have got the table load up as well so I could theoretically click on any one of these and it will tell me uh, where they are up under this chart um, another option would be something like this charges versus performance so in this one the higher up you are um, the more the fund is charging you and obviously to the furthest to the right, you're getting better performance. So you wanna be as low down as possible and down to the bottom right where you're taking a very good level of performance for a, a very low level of charge. And again, hover over the, one, of the, one of these dots and it'll tell you uh, what the fund is. Um, and just lastly, I've got something a bit like this. It will show me the FE risk score versus performance. So whereas, as I said, most scatter charts are performance over risk. This is risk over performance, but I've just, um, transfer the volatility measurement to an FE risk score. So again, the higher up you are, the more volatile. So arguably you want to be, particularly if you're looking at funds in the same sector, you want to be possibly quite low down, but also far to the right. So again, you want to potentially be arguably being in this bottom right hand quadrant where you're taking a solid level of growth for a low level of volatility. So it's one of those features that's kind of hidden away. Most people don't appreciate it's there. You have to scroll right the way down to the bottom of the table first. But again, whatever table you're looking at, if you want to transfer two sets of that data into a scatter chart for further analysis, scroll down to the bottom, hit the plus icon, select your axis and start experimenting with that data. Um, as ever, I hope you found that useful. Um, any questions on the left hand side, contact us. We'll give you details to our help desk and you've got live chat in the bottom right hand corner to chat with our, uh, our help desk as well.